Hey photographer, Jessica Whitaker here, and today I'm bringing you behind the scenes of a photo shoot in a studio here in Seattle, Washington. For the full gallery of images, as well as all of the gear that we used, check out the description box below. And before we get into it, I wanna thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. A photo speaks a thousand words, but a polished and professional portfolio can get us those thousand dollar clients. Enter Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for websites and domains. Photographers, it's time to be done settling for slow-loading websites Sites with tedious plugins. I trust Squarespace's all-in-one platform to keep me booked and busy. Pick from one of their dozens of contemporary drag and drop layouts, post your custom domain and email with them, and even conduct successful email campaigns. Everything you need to run a successful photography business under their umbrella and at your fingertips. You can head to squarespace.com to begin your free trial, and when you are ready to launch your beautiful professional website, you can go to squarespace.com slash Jessica Whitaker to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or a domain. Oh, this is gonna be so gorgeous. So what I might have you do is I might have us bring the bring the sleeve down a little bit. And then can I adjust your hair and everything? Yes, okay. Absolutely. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Oh, I love that. Can you bring your shoulder up a little bit more? And then I'm gonna have you lean forward. It's gonna feel awkward, but it's gonna like open up the neck. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> gorgeous. Gorgeous. Cute, beautiful, and then look forward for me, yeah. Gorgeous, beautiful. Okay, now have you stand and face me straight on. Yeah, gorgeous. And then maybe we'll like kind of play with the bottom of the, of the dress again, or the shirt, yeah, yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, that's cute, really cute, good call. I'm just gonna adjust this one curl. I'm so particular about the hair because it's know, like, it, goes it, it makes or breaks a photo. You know what I mean? You'll see it and be like, oh, I wish that one strand. Okay, cute. Oh my goodness. That is beautiful, Izzy. Love it. So stunning. Maybe kind of use, like you could put your hand up. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. Gorgeous. Beautiful and really delicate, yeah, gorgeous. Okay, oh, you know what? We should swap the top. I am always like, I have to keep myself on it um, because I will just like keep shooting for like an hour in this because it's so cool, but we have a lot of other options. So yes, maybe we should, see. let's take them over, right? I love that. <laughs> okay. Love more, more. more is more, very true. Okay, so we have all these cute little options that I pulled. Um, so we have a little silk blazer. This is pretty and like nice and shine for the photo, but then also the purple on purple is monochromatic. And then I also just got this little cardigan that could kind of be like bunched up. We have another little cardigan, but I also got, I pulled this to put underneath, or honestly, this is a little tie, which I didn't realize actually. Um, so this could even go over. So this is really cute, but I think let's start with the monochromatic, two different pairs of earrings for options. And a big benefit of being in a studio space is that we don't have to have all of this out on the street where we have to then keep track of it, but then also like, where does it hang? How can we make sure it doesn't get wrinkled? So this is just a great place to be able to have warmth. <laughs> and then also everybody can just put their stuff everywhere and not have to worry about it so much, so it makes things go a bit smoother. So we will swap the blouse for the blazer and then get shooting again. So we're gonna shoot first on the 85 and then I will switch into my 50 just so that I can get some wider shots. I love this lens, it's the 85 1.2 and all the gear that we use as well as the outfits, everything will be linked in the description box below. Beautiful, let me bring the hair forward actually. What if we wear the blazer like a little bit off the shoulder, just ever so slightly? Yeah, yeah, beautiful. Gorgeous. And bring this hair. And can you even like lean forward on one? Yeah, beautiful. And then Laura, I'll probably have you swing around here. Oh my gosh, Izzy, that is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna have you lift up real quick. I'm just gonna tuck this back in. Okay, perfect, beautiful. And then maybe, okay, this is gonna feel awkward. Lift up ever so slightly. Yes, gorgeous. So stunning. And then we bring the hair back just so we see more of the glitter. Beautiful. 
Oh, you're doing so good, Izzy. Okay, lean forward now, ever so, yep, gorgeous, gorgeous. That just lets the hair drop really nicely. <laughs> and now look at me, yeah, beautiful. And just give me kind of like a soft smile, beautiful. Now we sit back up for me. Let's see, love it with the white boots. Maybe we even like cross the blazer across you and you kind of hold it. Yeah, yeah, cute, cute. Oh, gorgeous. So stunning. Let me bring the hair. Yeah, yeah, cute. And just kind of uh, lift up your arms ever so slightly. Yeah, 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 lift up onto them. Yeah, beautiful. So the way that Izzy, where she's um, putting all her weight onto her hand, right? That's how we naturally will sit. But in the photo, we want to actually kind of lift up and we're, instead of putting the weight in our hand, we actually kind of distribute it into our core so that then our arm isn't smushed rather than it pulls out a little bit. Beautiful, beautiful. Gorgeous, Izzy. Gorgeous. And then I'm gonna come over this way. You are doing so good. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nail. Love these earrings with it. You're doing so awesome. There's one little hair right here. It's all about these little details. So just take that extra couple of seconds to adjust the hair because it's gonna make it's gonna make a difference in your final images. Oh, that is beautiful. Lift your face nice and high for me. Yeah, gorgeous. Now just kind of bring the blazer up ever so slightly so I get a little bit of that color in. Yeah, gorgeous, Izzy. And soft smile for me. Beautiful, lift your face nice and high. And I really like soak in the sun. Yeah, beautiful. With the sleeve, I think I might, I still like the oversized look, but I think I might just bring it down ever so slightly on your hands so we see a little bit more. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And then kind of put it back up by your face, so it's super pretty. Yeah, and then soft smile, take a deep breath in. Yeah, gorgeous. 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 And then with your hand, just flip it so I see more of your manicure. So, so said, so, oh, you're gonna go like this. Yep, beautiful. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, yeah, cute, cute. Okay, and then just give me like a little, like a little soft smile. She's surprised, she's happy, she's here. <laughs> Gorgeous. Tucking the hair behind the earring just ever so slightly so we're getting that detail. I have the, such a big lisp right now for my Invisalign. Oh my gosh, the, oh, so gorgeous, Izzy. I'm gonna just switch my lens real quick to something a bit wider. Okay, we are switching to the 50 millimeter lens. from the 85, so we can get some wider shots. Okay. Oh yeah, this is perfection. Cute, Izzy. Just with the sleeve, can you push it up ever so slightly so we see your hand just a little bit more? Yeah, 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 beautiful. Oh, and the way the dress is falling right now, can you sit back into that um, where you had your feet? Yeah, that's really pretty, you know, really pretty line. Gorgeous, Izzy. Beautiful. Maybe we can put both hands up on the, on the side. Yeah, yeah, cute. Oh my goodness, gorgeous. Lift your face ever so slightly. Yeah, gorgeous, Izzy. Let's swap now into that little, like, little Thai lace blouse. Yeah. You're doing so, so good. Yay! These are gonna be really cute. Okay, so I think we should put this just over the dress yes. and see. No, I think that one looks really good. Yeah. We switched into the last look. We have this cute little 
lace blue minty blouse. And then we also have these little baby's breath that the last renter gave to us. So when you're trying to make a lot or a little look like a lot, I have a little trick. So instead of holding the flowers like you normally would like this or even just to the side where you see a lot of the stems, what you can do is just separate out, at least with baby's breath, because we have a lot of volume here and we can make it look like a lot because of the kind of um, flower it is. So I like to spread it out. And then what Izzy's going to do is she's going to kind of hug it this way. Then her arms are blocking these stems. And instead, then it looks we're able to spread it out um, where it's horizontal. It looks more voluminous. And then you can manipulate each little branch to kind of frame around her face nicely. So that's what we are going to do here. So let's see. Kind of want this. Oops. Oh, this is the tall one. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to keep it from like smacking in the face. OK, let's see. Wait a second. <laughs> it was literally perfect. Okay, I think like this. Okay, so then it's kind of her face will go here and then we have this really pretty line. Okay, beautiful. Okay, yeah, <gasps> gorgeous. And then what you can do too is kind of, and you actually hug it really to your body. Yeah, beautiful. And then like the hair, you can have the hair go into it a little bit if you want. We also switched into these really pretty pearl earrings with a little bit of a lavender thread. Um, it's just, it's so magical, I love it. Oh my goodness, oh I love the hoop earrings, this pearl with the baby's breath, it kind of is that same shape almost. Really lovely. Oh, that's gorgeous, Izzy. I stay just like that. Oh my gosh, your hair looks so good. Lift your face ever so slightly for me. Yeah, beautiful. I'm just gonna adjust this one little bloom, kind of tuck it in so it, covering just a little bit too much of the lip. Oh my gosh. Okay, look this way ever so slightly, yeah. Yeah, and then just do a soft smile for me. Kind of dreamy eyes, yeah, gorgeous. Gorgeous, look down so you see the lashes. Yeah, tilt your face, whichever way feels most natural. And now actually bring this up even more for me. Um, even just bring the flowers and stuff. Yeah, 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 gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my 85 real quick. Um, stay just like that. <laughs> I'm hurting, I'm hurting, I'm hurting. Okay, this is gonna be so beautiful. So I'm switching to my 85. I'm gonna be able to get a better portrait for this situation where it's really close up. Oh my gosh, it, oops, sorry, sorry. This is stunning. You look so beautiful. You look so ethereal. That's the word I would use to describe it. Maybe drop that hand too and um, bring maybe the other hand up. Let's see. Oh, that's really pretty. You know, I'm gonna have you sit, actually. Yeah, yeah, and then maybe just lay the flowers across. Yeah, okay, oh my gosh, beautiful. Your hair looks so gorgeous too. And maybe just kind of like adjust, like bring your opposite hand to your op the opposite side and then just rotate the wrist um, so you're kind of cupping like, yeah, 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 beautiful, beautiful. Really pretty and like feminine, yeah. Beautiful and soft smile for me. Gorgeous and say just like that. This is so stunning. You're doing such a good job. So beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. And then maybe actually with this hand, bring it up to your knee. So then we're getting a little bit of that sleeve. And you're kind of maybe just kind of playing with the flowers like a little bit. Yeah, cute. We definitely got it. If you're a photographer and you're looking to join a kind, encouraging, and inclusive photography community, check out my free Build and Bloom group over on Facebook. This is the best place to ask questions, whether it's about how to respond to a difficult client situation or just getting a new set of eyes on your website that you're about to launch. Check it out on Facebook groups and be sure to hit subscribe so you're the first to know when new free videos for your photography business come out. And I will see you over in my next video. Click right here to watch and to learn. I'll see you there.